Hello everyone. This weekend I did a DAS Plus stream in which we were kind of horsing around and looking at the DAS Horse 3 bundle, namely this one here, and it comes with a couple of products that were a little bit unintuitive to use, and I thought I'm going to show you now that I've worked out how to do it, well, how to do it really. So it is about this guy here. This is the DAS Horse 3, and that's a kind of custom figure and the thoroughbred that we get with the horse that's essentially a custom character for the DAS horse. Uh, with it come a couple of products here, namely the Rustic Cart, this one. And the Rustic Cart comes as a prop, but also as a set of poses that contains poses for the horse, as well as the Genesis figure. That is this product here, Rustic Cart. This is that product with the harness and the buggy here, but it doesn't have any poses. And the second product is this one here, the old card walk poses for Genesis and the Das Horse and the Rustic card. So that kind of works together. Then there's another product here that is the road buggy. Once again, same principle, different kind of card on the horse. And another product then contains poses for the cart, well, for the buggy and for Genesis. And it turns out it's not actually as easy to use as it may seem. So first of all, I've got the female horse and the Genesis figure in here. And I'm going to go and select the horse and go over to the poses section to apply the cart first. So these two products, they go together here, the rustic cart and the yoke and the old cart walk poses. So I'm going to go into here first. And the easiest thing to apply both the cart and the harness is actually to head over to the transportation tab here. And then in there we have a scene set, which is the rustic cart with yoke complete. So if I select the horse and double click this, then both the horse and the harness and anything else that is part of this setup is being parented to the horse and it gets all gets loaded. So you don't have to worry about uh, what happens when you load these things separately, what needs to be parented to what. It's all parented to the horse and that keeps it kind of neat and tidy. Now to apply a pose of the horse and the cart that comes with this product, you head over to poses, and no matter which part of the horse or its parented items you have selected, you just double click that and that applies the pose from this product, well, to your horse and to the cart. You could see the cart was slightly moving there. But these poses, they don't contain poses for Genesis as well. So Genesis is not part of these poses. That's where this other product comes in, which is this one here, the old cart walk poses. And when you do the same thing here, apply any of these hierarchical poses here, then you'll see that technically the horse and the cart are moving. That's kind of what we expect. But Genesis isn't moving, and that is because Genesis is not part of the setup. So on the rustic cart, and this is why I'm making such a big point about it, on the rustic cart we have this documents tab, and that says parent the Genesis 9 figure to the cart. So let's go do that. I'm going to have a look at open my horse here and I'll see that this is the cart, the two wheels cart. I'm going to go and left click and drag Genesis onto that cart like so. So now Genesis is parented to the cart and the cart itself is parented to the horse together with many of the other things. So no matter what I select here, I'll select the top node, but I could also select any of these other things here. Now go and select one of those. Then we go and apply a pose and Genesis snaps right into place. So that's, you know, fairly straightforward work. Whoops. This one is uh, not a hierarchical pose, so this doesn't work. This one is the hierarchical pose, and that totally works. And while they're not in the exact position here, the harnesses here, they could easily be adjusted to be in Genesis's hands. So perfect. That's, you know, that's one thing. But if that, oh, there we go. It's like, you know, Genesis is almost in the right place here with the hands and stuff. Very cool. Patting the horse. Very nice. So you'd think, well, great. It, now that we've worked that out, this is going to work exactly the same for the buggy, but that isn't the case, as many of us have found out the hard way. So let me go and attach the buggy here. That is the buggy. I'm going to go and, in fact, put the horse and Genesis into the default position. So I'm going to go and just select the horse, head over to Edit Figure, and then I'll head over to Restore Figure Pose, just for now, so that the horse is being put into the base position again, as if you're starting over again. I'm going to take Genesis, left click and drag them out of the parented hierarchy here. I'm going to go and do the same thing. So Edit, Figure, Restore, Restore Figure Pose. There we go. Now Genesis is also in the middle position here. We could just move them out. 
just away from the horse a little bit. And the cart and all the harness stuff I'm going to take away. So there are some attachments to the horse that we'll leave in place. But these things, they're going to go away. There we go. Now it's, it's as if we've loaded these figures in independently. So once again, with the horse selected, I'll head over to transportation and use the load all preset here, the scene subset, that icon, and that'll load everything and parent it into the correct places here. So that kind of works well. If we were to apply any of these poses here, they kind of work. Well, or do they? Because the cart isn't actually... Well, no, the cart's moving here. Perfect. So the cart's moving. That's what we want. But these poses, once again, don't contain poses for Genesis. So let's go and go back here to kind of this position. Perfect. Now we're going to go and head over to this other product here, which is the Road Buggy Walk Poses. It's a little complicated, isn't it? And now we go and apply one of these poses. We'll see that the horse is moving, but the cart isn't moving with it, which is bizarre. And this is one of those things that really freaked me out because I thought, hey, didn't this work? Was I making it up? And it is kind of working, but we need to parent the cart. The document just says parent G9 figure two cards. We'll do that in a second. But um, even if we do that, the cart is moving with the horse. And the solution to that puzzle is that in this product with the road buggy, the actual buggy needs to be parented to the horse's hip. So not just to the top node, which it is parented to by default. We need to go left click and drag it to the hip of the horse. And that will now apply the poses for the cart correctly. There we go. So that works as expected. And um, now in order to make Genesis also participate in this thing, we need to go and drag Genesis onto the buggy. You can do it the other way around as well, of course, that you drag Genesis onto the buggy and then drag the buggy onto the hip of the horse. But that is important that that happens. So now when we go and apply one of these things, Genesis snaps right into place on the buggy. There we go. So that is essentially the, the big surprise that I didn't know these two products work differently. They look so similar, but they work completely differently. So with the buggy, the buggy needs to be parented to the horse's hip. Whereas if you do that with the rustic cart, that doesn't work. That needs to be parented to the top level of the horse. Don't ask me why, I'm just the messenger. And then of course, to bring this to a close, there are also individual poses here. These ones here, the West Ride hierarchical poses for Genesis and the horse, in which Genesis sits on the horse instead of the cart. And for that, we have to go and make sure that Genesis itself is parented to the hip of the horse, not just to the horse. Genesis, for those poses to work, Genesis needs to sit on the hip of the horse. If you do, if you just apply it like this, then the, the, the horse moves and the buggy kind of moves by attachment, but Genesis doesn't move into that position. So we need to go and left click and drag Genesis onto the hip of the horse. And then when we apply poses, Genesis will move with it. There we go. Perfect. So yes, it's all about knowing how to do it. Yeehaw, perfect. And I thought because I just figured this out, I'm going to go and show you how this works. Also, thank you to X, by the way, for the title of this video, which is aptly called Hipgate. So have fun with the Das Horse 3 and of course, you know, avoid the Hipgate. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.